The midnight deadline is fast approaching. Hundreds of Vancouver school district employees are planning to strike if they can't come to a pay agreement with the district. If they do, that means thousands of students will not have school tomorrow. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman is live in Vancouver at the school district office where negotiations are still taking place at this hour. Bonnie? Wayne, good evening. That's right. They've been negotiating and bargaining inside of a room right over here since this morning. But so far, only with two hours left, there is still no deal in sight. And again, if an agreement is not reached by midnight tonight, that means 700 teachers, uh, school uh, employees rather, will go on strike tomorrow. And the district says that means there will be no school. So 24,000 students would be missing school tomorrow if an agreement is not reached tonight. Now, to give you a little bit of background, background about this potential strike. Those staff members who may go on strike tomorrow include school secretaries, clerks, and teachers' aides. Their union, the Vancouver Association of Educational Support Professionals, or VESP, is asking the district for higher wages for those employees. They say this is long overdue. Now, you might remember this actually isn't the first time the Vancouver School District has been at the bargaining table. Back in August, more than 1,500 teachers went on strike, also demanding for those higher wages, causing students back then to miss four days of class. And now this union tonight is threatening to do the same. Now this week we've heard from those frustrated employees and tonight, just a few hours ago, right here, we heard from the school district. Take a listen. We want our employees to have a fair and competitive wage and we value our employees. We appreciate the work they do and we, we need them. We want them and we want to get this settled so we can have school tomorrow. I have been told by the superintendent, by the assistant superintendents, the board, how valuable we are and that they wish they could pay us what we're worth. And due to this McCleary Act, this is their opportunity. So um, don't let us down. Now, that employee you just heard from is referring to the landmark Washington Supreme Court decision, which set aside $2 billion for educator salaries. But this union, VESP, tells us its members did not receive their cut of that, despite striking a tentative agreement in December. They claim that just weeks later, the school's superintendent backed out of nearly $1 million promised in that agreement. District officials, however, tell Fox 12 that that is not the case and that there was a misunderstanding about the agreement terms. So once again, if parents and students are wondering if they have class in Vancouver tomorrow as of right now, well, we don't know. It all depends on what happens inside of this room in the next few hours. We'll of course keep you updated and school officials in Vancouver say they will let parents know first thing tomorrow morning before 5 a.m. if class is happening. For now, reporting live in Vancouver tonight, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12 Oregon.